generally are uh, times passing in bar <laughs> drinking something so pops after the clubs it's really funny people drinking alcohol and they are getting different drunk all day <laughs> of course alcohol weed and uh, bars drinks vodka and blah blah but then we were all fucked up like vomiting in everywhere and we were all trying to struggle to not being drunk but after the bimba we were all oh my god <laughs> was when rafael threw up on my shoes <laughs> well um... Bimba is not funny, guys. <laughs> uh, I carol parties. Uh, I died. <laughs> I don't remember anything. I was with a costume, and I lost every part of my costume, even my mask. Uh, two days after, I went to Cuba Libre, and Idure told me, "Oh, I have your mask, by the way." I mean, what the fuck, girl? I don't even remember seeing you at the party. How do you have my mask? <laughs> I Cuba Libre, and I was so drunk. And actually now I cannot remember all uh, action, but I can remember some part. When I couldn't walk many times <laughs> because of alcohol. <laughs> I got really drunk, like most drunk I've ever been in my entire life. I couldn't even find my bed in my room, single room. It has only a bed. Yes, I was so drunk and actually I, I didn't know who am I. <laughs> Firstly, I traveled to another country, Europe. In Turkey, I don't have shoes for this. I was not able to travel this much because of money, because of visa, like because they can't accept us in Europe. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think it's can be this like I really start to travel a lot. I rent the car and we went to Prague, Budapest and Vienna and Bratislava. Latvia and Lithuania and it was really nice, really really nice. You know we went to Paris and when I saw the Eiffel Tower yeah. first time it was so so exciting, so uh, unforgettable for me. Two trips the First one uh, was with uh, four Turkish <laughs> between robes. <laughs> ah, good moment. No, it was a really, really good moment. And uh, yeah, it was a really good time. We, even, <laughs> uh, we saw beautiful cities. Um, after, I can talk about the second trip, uh, who was in, uh, yeah, like you know, in Paris and then Amsterdam. Trying to be not so much well-planned, like organized. I'm trying to not be punctual on the time. I was trying too much to be a bit late to everything. Because entire of my life, I was always trying to use an agenda to be much uh, punctual and blah, blah. Then, and I came to Rostov and I said, no, I will let myself down. And I can be late like the other people. And yeah, I was really successful. It. I was really late. For almost everything. <laughs> For example, silence party. It was first here. I don't know if you know. Yeah, you are taking headphones and without music in the place, it's just in your earphones and you can put on your ear and you can change the channels and you can listen to what you want. And it's really strange because when you take it out, you see people, everybody dancing without music. I can say paintball. <laughs> it was my first time, but for sure I will never try again because it was so painful for me. They shot me maybe three, four times. Cooking. I am never able to cook anything, not even eggs in my life. I was not able even to open the fridge on my own. <laughs> but now I, I can cook. I try traditional foods when I go to countries. I'm trying to taste new things. 
pierogi, I think. Mm. Indonesian food. It was cake, just a little bit cake. But at first it was kind of funny, but then no, not funny. <laughs> I don't want to even remember it. <laughs> Was the space cake moments? <laughs> well, <laughs> the people involved. Hi, Vivian. <laughs> I eat cake. I dream. <laughs> Brack, who was sleeping. <laughs> uh, Ipek was feeling bad. Vivian was couldn't do anything. <laughs> totally I and uh, I hear him who was asking me all the time, are we in the good bus? Uh, we should call Uber, we should call uh, Oscar, we should go we should call police. <laughs> now it was not a good moment in this but after I remember nights nah, it's, it's good memories. Um, I was cooking when I was living in um, in Polonaise I was just cooking something and it started to get uh, really, um, yeah, to burn. And it has like a lot of um, uh, smoke in my room. And then the fire alarm just uh, started to, to ring. And I was like, oh my God, did I just start this alarm? And actually it was just an exercise, but I was so afraid, afraid in the moment. Okay, weird moment. I was a gay friendly club. <laughs> I was going to the toilet. Some guy hit his shoulder to me. I thought he was going to like fight or do something. I turned, but he just looked at me like this, like all my body, and <laughs> I feel really uncomfortable. And I go to the toilet, wait two minutes, and do nothing, and go back, like, go back to my friend's safe place. Want to fuck me? I think you want to fuck me. <laughs> it was terrible. And when we start to speak, uh, I was thinking about maybe I can sleep with this girl. But after uh, she said, I have two child, children, <laughs> and I said, okay, uh, time is up. I need to go to my dormitory. I feel really bad. I feel so sleepy. <laughs> and uh, two days, may uh, not two days ago, but yesterday night, she saw me. Someone uh, screamed, Burak, Burak, and when I look, she uh, told me, what are you doing here? I said, I'm just walking with my friends. We just talk a bit. I, I remind she has two ch children. I said, okay, have fun, say bye. Erasmus for me is making good relations with my Erasmus friends. About relationships, uh, because I'm really bad at relationships in uh, with people, and uh, I'm not a sociable person. So I came here to to try to be sociable, and uh, yeah, kinda. I'm yeah, I got success, but kinda not too much. It's the first time I am a, a social person. Yeah, it's my uh, it's my new experience in here. Do you like it? Yes, yeah. but you know, uh, and usually I cannot uh, make a good communication with persons. It's my lifestyle. I, I I cannot make, but here I learned. I learned how can I make a communication with people. I met lots of good people here, and I will not forget them. We had really good time we had really good experience all together it was really fun I had experience and I learned some things about cultures about people around the world it's going to be really helpful for me and I love my Erasmus group people are amazing amazing there I have a lot of friends I met a lot of amazing people good relationship and it's like family for all of us it's a community like one bed <laughs> all of us we know everything about each other we are yeah it's like one big bed all of us most probably the people and every time we're like what are we going to do today <laughs> our bitches i will miss all of you definitely and I love you so much. You're all bitches. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. Or not. Our Rezus family, I love you. All of you. Very much. That's it. I will never forget you pussies. Love you all and take care. <laughs> I love you all guys. All, all of you guys because you're like a uh, part of my family. You became like a part of my family in here. And I really, really, I'm sure that I won't forget you for my whole life. I hope that you want to. I love you. I really will miss you. And I hope your whole life will be very okay, very good. <laughs> and um, maybe some time we will meet again. And I wish you good luck and um, that your dream um, come true. Yeah, I'll never forget this year. It's one of my best in my life, I think. Uh, so many memories and I hope I will all visit you in your country or at least we all met, meet again in Poznan, why not? And of course, you're all welcome in my home, please. Come in France, not Paris, but <laughs> in my hometown. It will be cool, yeah. I will miss you all and I hope we can see each other again very soon and I want to come visit you in every country and in every city. I want to thank you everybody to give me chance to, I mean, you are an Erasmus group of people and actually I like everybody as uh, actually everybody's characteristics is really nice. Everybody is really uh, kind people and I think uh, we can see this everybody can break their uh prejudice have lots of kind friends we, we lived uh, together so many memories it was a great memory and uh yeah i'm so happy to meet you especially tata boy <laughs> uh, it's my classmate and roommate so i'm so lucky yeah our culture our cultures are so different, but yeah, living with you was great. <laughs> Thank you for your brother, brotherhood or brothership. A lot of friends in this Erasmus, really. I, I really don't find people that I truly dislike. Sometimes people are a pain in the ass, like you sometimes, <laughs> when you're late. <laughs> but it's okay. Mm, no, really. Everyone was very nice, so only good memories. Actually, I won like one day, maybe we can have like gathering again. It's like nostalgic. Maybe we can like reuni doing reuni and do together. I don't know, maybe 10 years later or five years later, even I'm from Indonesia. So I don't know, maybe I can come here also so we can meet like the gathering. We can dream again, maybe perhaps like, OK, it will be so fun, like. 10 years again later. I love my old friends from Erasmus. For uh, first time in Erasmus, we, we are spent too much time together, but end of Erasmus, we are not together. I'm a bit sad for that. And But I will remember them always because they were nice people. We will stay in contact all the time and we will ask each other how are you and even if we are not talking every day I will know how she is or how they are, all of them. I will miss you guys, really. I will miss all of you. Maybe not some of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will miss all of you. All of you. Bitches. <laughs> if you one of them is going to forget me, I will kick your fucking ass with Rosalinda or hmm now I'm not sure what should I'm going to use like maybe I can use my pens like really colorful ones maybe I can use my forks also maybe I can use my Ikea knives yeah this is the best opportunity for all of you to kick in your ass and please oh my god please just Live the day like the first day of Kuba Libra, first day of Chakalaga, like 
without knowing and experience anything but wait, not waiting too much expectations but having fun in the much more than ever we expect yeah i think i'm gonna say something like that and eat more travel more and dream more then all of them is gonna become true and once erasmus always erasmus <laughs> oh i think i will miss all of you you all really good friends you all bitches sometimes and <laughs> Sometimes complaining too much, but it was good moments to hang out together. So, thank for all of it, I guess. Thank for everything. I hope we will see each other again sometimes in some way. You're the bitches, bitches in my life. <laughs> Most probably, Rafael said the same thing. So I will never forget you guys. And I hope one day we will meet again in Cuba Libre. <laughs> But it should be Monday because it's five zot in the beer. So I love you all, guys. Fuck. <laughs> it would be a shame. <laughs> Whatever happened in Poznan, it's always stayed in Poznan. Lifetime experience. Experience. She said it was really perfect feeling. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'm dead. <laughs> because it's, it's not haram. The talk uh, with Mitchell and me, and we were like, we should make uh, a contest on let people uh, vote for who is the bitches bitches <laughs> between him and me, of course. <laughs> I think Rafael, for me at least, Rafael is bitch. I like him, but he's bitch, even so. <laughs> Mere just jokes. No, I'm kidding. They're not funny. Uh, drugs? <laughs> um, it will be on the internet after. Okay, um, ecstasy and uh, amphetamine. Mm -hmm. Bravo!